I invite every person, I invite every woman here, every non-Muslim woman here, to stand to the side when we leave here and talk to a Muslim lady. I mean, now, let's not, let's not, let's not ask Barbara Walters about how Muslim women feel. You know, let's, let's not ask Tom Brokaw how Muslim women feel. Let, let's not ask CNN, ABC, Fox. Let's not ask the, the London Times or the Australian Times. Let's not ask non-Muslims about how Muslim women feel, how they live, what are their principles, what are their challenges. If you want to be fair, ask a Muslim woman. Ask my wife. Ask my mother. You see? Ask a Muslim woman that knows her religion, who has a relationship with her creator, who is stable in her society, understanding her responsibilities, her relationships, ask her. And after that, I think you should be fair that you don't need to ask someone else. But the problem is, no one really wants to ask Muslim women. We want to take pictures of women in Afghanistan and pictures of women in Palestine and pictures of women in Pakistan and pictures of women over here and we want to listen to what people say about female circumcision as if Muslims is got women thousand, ten, thirty thousand, forty thousand 40,000 Muslim women all over the world is being circumcised some crazy Steven Spielberg stuff And let me give you a statistic that you should know about. If you, take a, if you take a quota in this room right here, I'll tell you this. Most every Muslim woman in this room will be a college graduate or is a college graduate or is very intelligent and very much socially endowed. And within her family structure, we find that women control the wealth more so than men. Now, what does that say to you? Now, where you find, where you find women oppressed, women exploited, women mistreated among Muslims, that is because those Muslims themselves are not representing the principles of the religion. And in every religion you've got black sheep. But then again, you can't tell me that the 148,000 prostitutes that walk the streets in the UK or the 76,000 prostitutes that walk the streets of Holland that have licenses to do so, you can't tell me that all these little young, naked little girls walking around Australia with no clothes on, you can't tell me that they represent liberation. You can't tell me that the 2,350 abortions, murders, that take place with these young women, you can't tell me that that represents sophistication. You can't tell me that that represents liberation. You can't tell me that a naked woman sitting on a chocolate bar, a naked woman selling everything toothpaste, everything, you can't tell me that doesn't represent exploitation. So let's put things in context. Let's talk about things correctly and let's be fair and let's be objective. We can talk about that a little bit more if you want to. And let me give you one more statistic, one more. 
prostitution, venereal disease, abortion, and pedophilia. And this horrendous number of children being raped and kidnapped that exists in the Western world, it is almost unheard of in the Muslim world. So I think that the statistics kind of like speak for themselves.